Hello again everyone, as usual, I'm Buff Bud, and today we are back with another episode of Skyrim. Now, last episode, we ended up, uh, let's see, we... We got Inigo the, the Follower. Uh, we found a couple dragons that were not exactly killable. Um... I know we did something else, but I can't remember what it was immediately. Uh, but then we ended up heading over to the, um... Uh, to the Museum of the Dragonborn from the um, from the Legacy of the Dragonborn mod, and that's where we ended it. Uh, but you guys might be wondering why I'm uh, on the main menu here. I added more mods, like a lot more. In fact, how, how many did I add? Let me let me check real quick. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six... Nope, not that one. Six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen... Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen? Looks like nineteen. Although, a couple of these I, uh... I marked off on, so I'm not entirely sure what the deal is with them. So, about nineteen new mods were added to this. And... If, I, I did do a little bit of a test to make sure that the game was stable and wasn't going to immediately crash when I load up my world. And it seems like it all is stable. But in doing so, I realized that a lot of stuff is going to happen as soon as we load our game. So, yeah, and as you can see, there's a ton of uh, autosaves here from that uh, previous load. So, yeah, things are going to happen probably almost immediately. In fact, you guys might be able to see it now with the uh, the shading on the uh, the stone there. As soon as it goes. Any minute now. There we go. Whew, there we go. Welcome to Natural and at uh, Atmospheric Tamriel. A new torchlight has been added to your inventory as well as new alteration spells to configure the nat options. Have fun. Okay, so new spells have been added. So we're probably going to have to deal with that. You guys, the, the first thing you guys might be noticing is... It is excre uh, excre uh, excruciatingly bright out right now. That is from the Nat mod, I believe. So we're going to have to try and fiddle with that. Uh, torch light. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Oh dear, we're falling. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm falling off the, the thing here. Okay, whatever. Greetings. Maybe you still haven't discovered your true self. By the way, I have not read through all this. This is why I wanted to wait for uh, on camera to see what it was. Maybe your path and destiny are still unclear. The record says you are the Dragonborn, and that uh, and that uh, and that is what we will use to refer to you from now on. Dragonborn. Sooner or later, you will realize your own value and stand true to your story. A storm greater than anything mankind has ever faced has ever faced is coming. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be uh, supposed to say faced. Orphis, the demigod, an unfamiliar name to you, but not to us. He seeks to destroy everything you hold dear. Unfortunately, uh, fortunately, we will provide you with the way to prevent this calamity. Listen to what we have to say. Listen to the story. Chaos, a fragment of reality, an unstable energy that was long lost before the time itself and the origin of both uh, Anu and Padome is returning with the Numidium in the fifth era. With its return, prism magnetic waves are emit, uh, emitting from the rift, destroying the entire planet. Surviving Dunmer are at that... Uh, are at that time beginning re uh, be wow, I am butchering this terribly. Surviving Dunmer at that time began researching about the chaos that's uh, and started mass producing chaos relics for their super soldiers. Their strength is unmatched. Invincible army with the power uh, the power of above divines. Since the Hist Empire taking over Dunmer uh, great houses in the seventh era. Chaos relics are forbidden in production and usage. Most of the researchers, uh, researches and technologies about the chaos are being disposed of. With this, they become rare and valuable artifacts. At this moment, only six uh, relics, or only, 
I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be relics. Only six relics remain. Three of them were sealed inside one of Orphus's fortresses, uh, one of Orphus's fortress, Nern Monolith. The other three are in the hand of the demigod himself. Ultima and a Azarax are modeled as a sword. Catalyst and Bloodbow. Uh, oh, no, sorry. Ultima... Yeah, Ultima and Azarax are modeled as a sword. Catalyst and Bloodbow, modeled as a bow and the later... Uh, wow. Modeled as a bow, as the latter name suggests. I'm sorry, I am terrible at reading. I'm almost certain I'm dyslexic, but there's no proof for that. Zero and Infinity, modeled as a staff for uh, with banis uh, banishing property. Properties? I'm not sure. Now, Azarax, Bloodbow, and Zero are in the possession of the Demigod as he seeks to use them to shatter the timeline. Orphis the Demigod... Uh, yeah, Orphis the Demigod. His journey begins as a prisoner, as do you and many others. His execution at the Lorcan Tower, sky, uh, high up in the sky, is being interrupted by a centipede swarm, uh, storm. That sounds awful. A, uh, a swarm of platinum beasts swarming the tower. But being a criminal isn't uh, wasn't easy for him. After the escape, he and his Dunmer partner, Jaren, made a living in the sleeping forest south of the old Black Marsh as mercenaries. Several hundred years passed since that. Uh, the rapid increase of aggressive centipede storm reached its peak after many years and broke loose. The capital on the, uh, on the moon and the surroundings were devastated by the storm. It's at that time that, uh, that he and his Dunmer partner stepped out of the shadow and started purging both Nern and Masser. Both of them fought against platinum beasts the, uh, from a swarm of vampire bats to warped dragon titans for over a century. At the peak of that conflict, the leader of all beasts, uh, Nakshafa, whatever, and its pack attacked Masser directly. He and his partner had a long battle with them, and finally able to defeat it. A uh, long battle with them, and finally were able to defeat it. Whatever, with the cost of Jaren's life. At this point, no one knew wh uh, what he is scheming anymore. Uh, he shut himself in his impregnable fortress, the Pandemonium. Pandemonium. Isn't that the big giant uh, cube that we found up in the Arctic? Huh. And started a process of mass produ uh, producing destructive arsenals. After a century of, uh, of him operating in the shadows, he announced to the world with three chaos relics in his hand and a blood divine crest behind his head, I, demigod of all existence, will collapse the timeline and rebuild it anew with my deceased partner, Jaren. My missiles and other arsenals are, uh, are more than enough to suppress the singularity and break the time. Resistance is futile. The power of chaos is far greater than those uh, of Aetherius, Aetherius magic or chim. Behold my greatest destruction and creation, mortals. Now you know your opponent. As he did. It's time to make a move, Dragonborn. Your objective is as follows. You need to retrieve three Chaos Monoliths at Nern Monolith, or you'll not even uh, or you'll not stand even a slight chance against him. Then infiltrate the Pandemonium. The Demigod resides there. You know what to do next. We will clean up the rest and foil his evil scheme once the battle is over. We will send you supplies from here, including... 20 elixirs, a potion that reverses time of the user, completely getting rid of exhaustion and wounds. An auto-scan spell, it will activate itself once you reach the Nern Monolith. Monolith. An alteration spell for teleporting enough, uh, teleporting through time and space. Use it when you're ready. We believe in you, Dragonborn. The history record told a great story about you. Many other heroes and heroines are uh, already left to pursue the demigod in their own timeline. Do not delay your destiny. I... Okay. I'll be honest, I don't know what mod actually added that, but uh, it sounds fun. Right? That's weird. That's really weird. Okay, anyway. Can I please get up here? What's up, Indigo? For a second, I was wondering who the heck that was running up behind me. Okay, so real quick. 
So we got alteration spells. Uh, yeah, that's alteration. Nat settings. Here we go. Um, graphic options, maybe? Oh my god. Disable. Dis See, I don't want to disable anything. I want to try and lower the uh, skylight. Disable extra skylight? That doesn't seem right. Alright, so let's run over here then real quick. Okay, graphics option. Next. I guess enable. Because it doesn't seem to do anything. Um, honestly, I didn't even know there was this thing. I didn't read it properly uh, earlier on. When I tested everything, that is. Um, hmm. Random weather. Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Okay. Night settings. No. Climate settings. Dark and gloomy. Okay. So let's uh, quickly wait for a couple hours and see if everything will change. Because personally, I think the world around us is just way too bright. Oh. That's way too dark and gloomy. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, that is way too dark and gloomy. I pressed enter. There we go. Okay. Yeah, well, it looks like we'll just have to deal with it being so bright like this. Oh, well. Uh, by the way, uh, another thing. So, f oh dear. That's not... Wait, what? Space to toggle focus. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Actually, no, I need... Dawn Fang. There we go. <coughs> nice. Um, right, I kept on talking about how we had a, uh, some kind of mod that was called, like, Artifacts something or another, and, uh, turns out I was wrong. There is no Artifacts anything, uh, mod in here. So, uh, yeah, I was wrong. Uh, but anyway, um, we did also have a quest. Uh, much Ado About Snow Elves, where we have to investigate multiple different things and get stuff. This is actually for, um, for this mod, for the, uh, Legacy of the, uh, Dragonborn mod. So that's what it is. Um, uh, let's see, what else do we have? The Final Catalyst, uh, Cataclysm. Oh, okay. So that's what it is. Okay. So I, I, I know that mod. Uh, Champion of Kind, Acolyte of the Voice. Meditate to study alternate meanings of the first words you know. Gotcha, okay. I do want to try Champion of Kind once again. The one where you have to carry Kind's fire. There we go, let's also do that. Uh, so first things first. Oh yeah, let's get rid of that marker now. Uh, first things first, let's head down to uh, our house. By the way, uh, one of my friends on Steam uh, recommended a mod for me. It seemed amazing, but I found out it was only for the original Skyrim version. Mjol, are you okay? Why does everything look so dark? I don't like it. Um, that's got to be something to do with uh, Nat, right? Night settings, brighter nights maybe? Uh, let's try 50. Night settings. Default nights. Night settings. Brighter nights. Let's try 75. Okay, let's not do that then. Brighter nights. Let's try 100. Uh, I mean, it's still pretty dark, but it's, it's seeable. What in the world is that? Uh, dra no, not Dragon Rend. Ch -ch -ch -ch. 
Hold up. Do I not have, um... I don't. I thought I had that thing favorited. Huh. Okay. Dusk Fang. There we go. And... I also want that one. Okay. What is that? A ghost of a mud crab? Who's there? Why is Kine pleased with my actions? Oh, hunt Kine's spirit animals in the wild. That makes a bit of sense then. Anyway, so the reason why I wanted to come over here to home is so I could drop off pretty much everything I own. Uh, that way. Oh, hello. What's up? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I have a letter here for you. Looks like that's it. Okay. Letter from who about what? Cassia's plea. Gotcha, okay. Riches beyond imagining. Oh. I found these words inscribed in ancient dwarven ruins in the reach. I believe they mark the entrance to a forgotten city. My brother went in a few days ago and hasn't returned. I need someone I can count on to go in after him and bring him back alive. I've heard great things about you, which is why I'm asking for your help. I'll be waiting for you in the ruins. Please hurry. And remember, riches beyond imagining. Cassia. Anyway. Okay, for a second it looked like he just disappeared. Alright, so let's come in here and drop crud off. Whoa, that was weird. Um... Sure. I don't know, it just looks kind of odd in here for some reason. Like, it looks like the brightness is lowered and the contrast is raised. It doesn't seem right. Alright, so let me uh, try NAT settings so once again. I saw an indoor settings. NAT FX, I wonder what that is. NAT interiors. Okay, that's, uh, ooh. Uh, the f I, I don't know if it's... Hmm, I don't know. What's that effects? Black and white, cold winter, dark age. What? Huh. Whatever. I think I'll keep this one. Uh, although I need to... There. Okay, so this one is empty. So let me toss... Pretty much everything I own into here. That torch light. I wonder what that's about. Um. <sighs> Look, sir. Interesting. I like that. Anyway. Um, so I guess I'll store pretty much everything because I want to not uh, be weighed down by pretty much anything at all uh, we're gonna want to keep that um, I'm gonna want to keep that probably oh wait no I can't wear that can I Actually, I am going to want that one. Okay. Stall room heavy helmet. I still need to sell that. Uh, I'll keep that just because. I'll throw that in there. Um, I'll throw those in there. Yeah, because I'm not entirely sure what here I'm going to actually need. Glass dagger, I'll keep those. I'll put that away. Put that away, put that away, put that away. Yes. Oh, come on, dang it. Okay. Wait, did I just... Number one, why do I have two dragon scroll... Uh, dragon elder scrolls, and two, I can put them away now?! 
What? Bruh. I can put pretty much everything away. How much do I weigh now? Ooh, 22. Okay. So we need to quickly go to uh, High Hrothgar. And when we get there... Or not High Hrothgar. We need to go to... Uh, what is it? Uh, not Rorikstead. I can't remember. Oh, what is that? Abandoned Grotto. That's gotta be from, uh, from some kind of mod. Okay. So, now that we are a lot less weighted down, we should be a lot quicker. Oh, dear. Oh, you're dead. Huh. Well. Anyway, uh, items real quick. I do want to put on... Oh, I can't do both? Oh, that blows. Okay, well. Dang it, I probably should have kept the, the other one then. Okay, so we're not really planning on actually fighting anything. We just need to do this. And... As soon as I get started with this, I'll probably end the... Or not end. I'll uh, pause the video until I actually get it. So... Alrighty. What? Here we go. And I'll see you guys if we get up there. Alright, the fire is weakening. That means we are very close to it dying. Can we actually make it, though? I have a feeling we're not going to be able to. It's probably going to die before we can get over there, even. Because one... Yeah. God dang it. How are you supposed to do that? Yeah, it's still way over there. Way, way up there. I'm honestly not sure how you're supposed to do that. Can I fast travel real quick? Or can I not? Because, you know... Okay. I can. Um... I'm trying to think of anything that could help us here. Honestly, I think I'm just going to Google it. I can't really think of anything else that can help. Game group. Okay, Google is not working on here. I will be right back as soon as I'm done Googling it on my phone. Alright, so it seems like the way to go is to go to... Wait, did I get rid of my gold? I think I got rid of my gold. Because gold is technically an item in this game, not a, uh imaginary value. Dang it. Apparently, the, the way to go is to use uh, a mod that we actually luckily do have uh, called Apocalypse and just use a couple uh, spells from there. One of them is Conjure Kyrim, I think it said? Not entirely sure what that is. Uh, then there's another one that is um, Dual Cast Long Stride. Um, yeah, see, so we have zero gold, so it's in here somewhere. There it is. Uh, and apparently, the best way to, to do this is just to simply buy the spells from whoever. Apparently, that's how this mod works, anyway. So, let's go up to the College of Winterhold. They are bound to have them. I'm just trying to think of who at the College of Winterhold would sell Conjure spells. Oh my god! You have a hood? Why don't you have a hood? I mean, you have a... cape sort of thing. That's kind of cool. I don't think she's always had that, anyway. Good day, friend. Keeping well? No. Divine smile on you, um... What have you got for sale? Take a look. Uh... No. 
Okay. Seriously, why are you naked? Taking me up on my offer. I've got coin and I've got merchandise. Let's see what we can do. Uh, not seeing any there. Give my regards to Carlia. Hey, watch it. It's a fine day with you around. From there. I don't know who sells this. It's oh. probably not a good idea to walk around These naked. Ends are cold. Oh yeah, that's right, I'm naked. Warmness from your presence. All right then. They're off. So you wish to master the arcane arts? I do. Uh... Dang it. I'm wondering if we can't actually use this because our conjurer skill is not high enough. Okado's recital. Huh. Whatever. Yeah, I'm not seeing it here. Oh, this blows so heavily. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure what to do about this then. So I guess we'll just go home and get our stuff back and... I don't know, let's let's do some other mods, I guess, for a while. Okay. Make a few mana. There is one mod I want to kind of show off a little bit. I don't like how the eyes glow. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's get all of our crud back. And take all. Thank you. Yeah, I'm carrying too much to run. Blah, 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 blah. What the heck? Why can I not get both of them? Oh, didn't mean to do that. I know there's some way I can wear both of those. Well, frick. For some reason, I can't wear both. God dang it. Okay, guess I'm not gonna wear both. That's fun. Um, well, whatever, I guess. Oh, yeah. I freaking love the Dawn Fang. Slash Dusk Fang. Okay. Forgotten City. Okay. Let's turn this one off for now because we can't do it anyway. Oh, yeah, there's another one. Oh. Ooh. Okay, that's cool. And I'm actually getting a phone call. Hold on a sec. Alright, sorry about that phone call. Uh, I actually had to go help my parents out with something. And I don't even remember what we were doing. Um, I... The last thing I remember is we got a, uh... We got another thing here for... For this. No, is it this? Acolyte of the Voice, that's it. So let's go back to High Hrothgar... And quickly, uh, do that. That may have been what we were actually going to do in the first place, but I actually do not remember, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to carry the fire up here anytime soon, so, yeah. Oh my god, everything is so dark. I've got to try and figure out some way around this. Okay, so let's go to the library and meditate again. Yo, what's up? There we go. Alrighty, so now... Do we still have to do that uh, stamina uh, watching minigame thing? Oh, not here? Okay, weird. 
Or is it something different now? Oh, death bell, okay. I have a feeling it's something different this time. Okay. I think we're almost there. Probably now. Hey, nice. Okay, so now we're going to be getting a lot more uh, words here real quick. And by quick, I mean not quick at all. Yeah, look at that. That's nice. Okay. So I guess we just have to basically keep shouting to the air, or to the, the sky, and then we should be able to get more, um, more powers by the sound of it. Uh, as for the fire... I'm honestly not sure. I'm actually kind of tempted to uh, just cheat to get the thing done, to be honest. But, I don't know. I'm wondering, can I summon Arvac to get here? Would that work? Hmm... Okay, so where's Summon Arvac? Summon Arvac, there we go. Alrighty, so if I summon Arvac real quick, and then hop on him, right after doing this, whoa, Arvac, you look different. Come on, keep it going. Is this actually fast, or is this not at all, I wonder? I have a feeling that this is not, in fact, fast. And he's not even running anymore. There he goes. Yeah, this definitely is not going to work. Yeah, honestly, at this point, uh, I'm very tempted to just straight up cheat. Because I'm sick and tired of not being able to do this thing. Yeah, this definitely is not going to work. Uh, when I looked it up, they were talking about um, uh, taking shortcuts. But what shortcuts are there? Is this a shortcut, maybe? Yeah, well, even if it is, I can't go up it with Arvac. Well, I kind of can. A little bit, anyway. Um. There we go. Alright. Well, it's pretty freaking slow, so I don't know if we'll be able to actually do it. Come on, buddy, you can do it. And right now, we don't even really have a choice of doing anything else anyway. So, I mean... Might as well just try Arvac, right? Okay, so this actually is along the path. Wait a minute. I'm getting hurt here. Wait, are you telling me this is behind High Hrothgar? Because I know these are all... Oh my god, this is behind High Hrothgar. Dude. Okay, so the fire faded... High Hrothgar is right there. Huh. Are, 
Arvac might actually be the way to go. Okay, so we were right here, and we went up like this, basically. We did it kind of slowly. Hmm. Maybe I'll work on that off camera, but for right now, uh, let's not deal with it. Um, I do want to check this place out, though. That's obviously for something. Alrighty. That is down that way. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and do that thing off camera. Uh, if I do end up doing it off camera, I'll probably... I don't know. I, I, I don't even know what I'm gonna do, honestly. Don't expect me to do anything. Okay, so... Looks like it's over there, across the tree here. Hi! No. I think I picked a good time to murder some people. Raska understands Rizuendar. Yes. Rizuendar will surely have wares Dalamor will like. Dalamor will give Rizuendar a ship, yes? To retrieve all these precious gifts. <laughs> Dalmor will pay with jingling coins. Raska doesn't want to upset Rizuendar, yes? Raska should hasten. This one hears. This one understands. This one will run faster than the wind. Uh, what? Tom Bader? I am very confused. Dalimor? Risu and Dar knows of Dalimor. Dalimor values their friendship with Risu and Dar highly. And Risu and Dar reciprocates these. Okay. These are the bylaws of the Vendari. Down by there is not heard the Vendari? Risu and Dar can explain. If down by there so wishes, Vendari travel and trade with down by theirs. Okay. Vendari wise women such as Ms. Hildo here can see the future. With this, Risu and Dar, if down by there wants to know yeah. Tom Bader buys a book from Rees Wendell. Um. Tom Bader reads as well as the word down more. Okay, what are you doing here? Kajita not present for mischief, Tom Bader. Rees Wendell and Bendari are here uh, for Yeah, you. I'm looking to make friends. This one is always happy for new friends. Tom Bader should have some wool. Wait, what? Uh Rizwandar is offended oh by the town biter's reluctance to taste his wonderful sugar. Uh oh. This one thinks Rizwandar is too kind. Aw oh, man. Aw oh, man. Okay, hold on. Um Is that yeah, that must have been the most recent autosave, right? I don't want him to be mad at me. So apparently I can, uh... Oh. Yawn. Oh, dear lord. Well. This is awkward. Hi, White Run. Huh. <laughs> Come fly with me. Come fly. Let's fly away. <laughs> Oh, dear lord. Um, hmm. We're going down now. We're going down. We're going down. Um, oh, um, what? Huh? What? What? Water! <laughs> oh, my god. Oh my god. 
<laughs> that is wonderful. Okay. Let's try this again real quick. And um, this time, let's not fly away. Come on. Load up. Huh. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. How did that kill me? How did that kill me? That's bogus. So apparently, you cannot move at all when you're on RVAC uh, after loading an autosave? Oh dear. Um. Can I fast travel? Please? I hope. Okay, I can. Great! That's not glitchy at all! Oh, come on! I need neck to jelly! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no! I think I'm, uh, I think I'm stuck. Huh. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Frick! Wait, am I not dead? Is Arvac dead and I just got flung off? Because when you die, you can't save or quick save. Oh, no, now I'm dead. Oh my god! Oh, there's gotta be some way around this without having to go back to a completely different autosave. Ugh. off uh, um hmm okay let's try fast traveling again I guess oh this isn't gonna be good this is not gonna be good quick quick woohoo I did it Oh. Okay. Well, at least now we're not, um, riding a flying horse. <laughs> oh, dear lord. Okay, so, apparently the right choice is to eat the moon sugar. I'm not entirely sure what the moon sugar is supposed to do for us, though. Hello? What are you? I'll take the gold, I guess. I should mind your stamina. Yeah, why not? That sounds important. Oh! That immediately killed it! Holy crud! Oh dear. Hi! Well, he's dead. Brothers, we were successful in our mission. Braska understands. Come on. Just stop talking. All these precious gifts. <laughs> that were pay with jingling coins. What's Bruno? I don't like.
Thank you! Oh, I can actually kill this one. Huh. What the frick? Okay, I, I'm, I'm gonna reload. But I don't know who the frick this guy is or how he got here, but okay. Yeah, 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 shut up. Blah, blah, blah. Raska, 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 Raska. Just shut up and let me talk to you and get the moon sugar. Uh. Hello? Okay. What brings you out here? I was sent by Frey to come and find you and deliver a gift. She wanted me to tell you that she appreciates all you have done. Okay. She apologizes if she seems a bit Who's Freya? It took her some time to come to terms with the loss of Skull, her father. She wanted me to pass on this amulet of the scar as her personal thanks. Normally, this uh -huh. trinket is held in the highest regard. Only for the shaman of the scar. But from? only through your efforts are the stars able to survive. So she felt you were to the Okay. I am pleased. Guard it with care. And the all nature continue to guide you, my soul. Okay. This guy. Okay. Okay, so yeah, search your body for clues. So I know we need that. Uh, let's see. Okay, read Camilla's oh, note. Hi. Uh, I'm looking to make friends. This one is always happy for new friends. Town Biter should have some moon sugar. Yep. Ah, best delicacy, best gift to a friend. Oh, didn't mean to. Okay. Moon sugar added. All right, so quick save, and then I think we have to eat the moon sugar. Moon sugar discovered from moon sugar. Okay. Foolish, foolish down by there. Down by there should know Bandari always have the best goods in their possession. And if Dalimor asks Bandari to provide some sugar that kills, the sugar will kill. Oh. Dalimor. So what, does that add some kind of, like, effect that is going to kill me soon or something? Um... Maybe? Where'd you come from? What the frick?! <laughs> That was weird. It like went into kill cam mode for a second and then pulled out. Abandon grotto key. Um. Okay, so I need to apparently follow this guy. Inglorious, yeah. Okay. I am very confused now. What in the frick? Oh, I'm sorry, Serana. There we go. Huh. Well, this is weird. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm going to hold off for now. That's weird. How does that whole cavern fit in this? 
I am so confused. Search bandit. This doesn't really look much like a bandit. I don't know about you guys, but uh, normally the, the bandits I know of look like humanoid figures, not shields. But that's just me. Okay, let's come over here and just drop this uh, quote-unquote bandit off the edge of the tree. Bye! Alright, anyway. Uh, so we got that. Man, we have so many new quests to do. Okay, so... Bloodlet Throne. Fort Black? That one sounds interesting. Whoa, what is this? Huh. Okay, so how do we get there? I suppose we could probably go to the Bloodlet Throne and then go south? There's probably a mountain range in our way, though. Whoa, it's so freaking dark. My god! I can hardly see anything. Oh my god, the snow. Wait, where's Inigo? Oh. That was definitely a glitch. Hello? Oh my god, I couldn't even see them. Jesus Christ. Don Fang has evolved! Nice. Don Fang Superior. Ooh. That sounds fun. Okay, so we need to somehow get through here. Oh, this is so nice. Okay. Seems like this is a little area that we could probably go up, and if not, normally that we could probably get Arvac to help us, but no, it looks like we can do it. Do we not have to shout to the sky anymore? That's odd. Okay. Alright. Um, looks like we actually have to go around... That looks weird. Huh, okay. You know, by being on top of the mountain here, I feel like I... Hello! Who or what are you? I don't know who you are. Oh, looks like this is some kind of bandit encampment. Oh, dang. You guys all started attacking me first, so I'm gonna kill y'all. Hold on a sec. Yeah, so do I. Ready to die? Oh! <laughs> that was so quick! I love it. Alright, so what do we have up here? Where is it up here? How do I get up here? Is there something over here I can... Okay, yep. Hi. I'm not gonna fight you. That's actually another mod I have. It's, um... What is it called? I think it's Immersive Creatures or something like that. Uh, the creatures of Skyrim will not attack you. Uh, uh well, th they'll have more realistic, um, actions, I guess. Like, for example, if a pack of wolves came up to you... Butlet Mine. Is this the, uh, the one... 
I mean, it's got to be, right? No. I wanted to go over here, but the thing is pointing me to here. Why is it pointing me to here? I am very confused. I mean, I might as well go in, right? Um, but no, um... Like, animals will not just attack you willy-nilly anymore. Oh, this is so dark. What is that nat, um, lighting thing? Nat torch light. I don't really like torches, because they get rid of the whole sneak aspect. But I kind of have to. This is weird. Ah, uh, but don't no, like. Let's say a pack of wolves will come to attack you. Coral. Coral. That's weird. Um, if they think that they are outnumbered, they're not gonna attack you, like logically. While um, if if the pack is. Don Fang thirsts again. Okay. Uh, while if um. Uh, the pack is large enough, then, um, uh, then they will attack you because they won't be outnumbered. Okay. So, uh, that, that, uh, I'm pretty sure that's why the Sabertooth, uh, cat didn't immediately come after me. Okay. There's not even anyone in here. This is strange. Hmm. I can't run? I can't run. Is it because I have the torch out? That's not right. I can't run? Oh, no, I can jump now. For a second, I wasn't even able to jump. I don't know why. I'm up here, but I need to go over there. What in the world? Yeah, I can't run. What is this? Hold on, can I use the uh, clear, uh, clear skies shout? I wonder if that's... Hmm. I don't know. Clear skies. Can I use this? Will that clear skies and make the weather not terrible? Does not seem to work. Dang it! Yeah, I can't run at all. And I wonder if it's because of the wet and cold mod. Oh my god. Oh my god. God! What is this? The Mountaineer's Journal. Oh my god. Well, there's that. Isn't that where, um... Isn't that over there where uh, the Imperial City should be? Yeah, so that right there has got to be the thing, right? There's a spirit animal! In a go! What the frick, you dickhole? Okay. So... I need to go over there somehow. I think the best way to do that is to carefully scale down the mountain. You idiot. Wait, I'm sneaking? Is that why I couldn't run? When did I start sneaking? Ow. Hi? Uh, not really. What are you guys? 
I mean, obviously, you're all prospector archers. Or mm -hmm. prospectors. But, I mean, what are you guys doing here? And this will just lead me back up there, huh? Oh, I came up that way, and I went straight there. I didn't go this way. Okay, now it's all making sense. Need something? Okay, someone over here. Need something? None of you guys? Need something? None of these guys actually have anything good to say about anything. They're all worthless. Okay, so let's just run down the mountain. Carefully. Yeah. So we don't do that. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Where's our healing? Fast healing, there we go. Okay. Nope, that's the wrong one. And Dusk Fang. And turn that off. I know we're going over on time, but I really want to find that thing. Because I'm very interested in whatever that thing is. Why did you have to go through an entire mine and everything to get here? Why is it on the map? It's obviously related to something. Almost certainly modded. Because I don't remember ever seeing this thing before. Man, look at this sky. Ooh. So good. Fort Black discovered. What's the point of the Fort Black, though? Like, there's gotta be some reason for this thing being on our map. Hi. Thalmor soldiers. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, say so. Ow. Consumed zero souls. What? Uh, Inigo, Serana, where are you guys? And why is it not absorbing any souls? Okay, there it goes. It finally got one soul. I want to see you guys stabbed by my awesome blade. Only one of us is going to have our choice. So, uh, who's it going to be? Nice. Where are you? There you are. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Well, that's done. What's up here? Anything? Nothing. Okay. So we could go inside. There was a door down there. I just killed everyone. How much damage does this freaking blade do now? 23? That's it? What? But I've been feeding it forever now. Okay, that's weird. Excuse me, my friend. I don't know what that's all about, but there's a lot of people in there. So, uh, let's end the episode here, shall we? Alright, so anyway, that's going to have to be it for this episode. If I can put that away, thank you. I have an uh, arrow straight in my elbow. That looks painful. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy, then please leave a like and subscribe. I don't know where Inigo went. Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching, and have yourselves a great day. Goodbye.